McDermott enters it down low to go. Trying to move Williams. Not an easy task, but he banks it home. Oh, I love that misdirection post-entry play to Bryce Golden. Got started off by him getting others involved. He gets two assists right off the bat. And all of a sudden, he looks like a different player, almost like a guy you saw last year. Terrific high school career. Really scored the ball at a high level. Proctor, Jahat Proctor on the drive, had it poked free, but Williams right there to clean it up. Aaron Thompson and Jahat Proctor know each other so well. Their fathers are the godfathers of each of them. Our Baldwin to work. The skip to McDermott in the corner. That one tipped into the hands of Jahat Proctor. 2017. You can't help but be impressed with what Laval Jordan has done. It's right there, a screen for the screener play, and Purdue falls asleep. That, that's a basic inbounds play. They impressive struggled, season. Struggled to start in that Baylor game as Williams gets the offensive rebound out to Stefanovic for three. That was a major league rebound. For those wondering what goes into tempo, what are you looking at when they have that tempo rating? Well, I think it's just it's how they want to play on both ends of the floor. Do they have long defensive possession? Eric Smith is really doing a nice job of pushing Trevion Williams off the block. It's making a huge difference in defending him. Turnover going the other way, though, for Hunter. Misses the layup. Thompson, chased by Easter, got by him and got to the rim to tie it at that 15. Was so good with the hesitation move. Slip. Thought about trying to get that shot up. Thompson. Filling the lane is Christian David with a two hand flush. Eric Hunter can become that guy eventually. They need to find a way to get him more shots. He just hasn't had a ton. That, that's just a poor post entry pass from Sox Stefano. It's as simple as that. Golden there to take advantage of it and take it away. Here comes Kamar Baldwin. Golden will launch from deep, and he'll hit. That's his seventh made three this year. Showcased and on both ends of the floor today. There's Proctor trying to get it going, and it's rejected inside. Thompson back out to McDermott. The three, an air ball, caught and finished by Bryce Enzi. Inzi was there, and Butler going the other way once more. Baldwin, the three in transition falls. 13-point lead. You've got to get Eric Hunter in some pick-and-roll situations, and you got to find some open shots. That's a pretty good look. And Isaiah Thompson, a freshman, steps up to the plate and makes a huge jump shot right there. Their defense has kept them in it today, but it's been a struggle offensively. And the tip by Inzi off the miss. It's two more on the board for Butler. To your hotel, restaurants, whatever. It's it's awesome down here for the Crossroads Classic. Have to hope that it keeps happening. And Butler's offense all of a sudden has woken up and it is operating. Really thrive on the offensive glass, but Butler has out-rebounded the Boilermakers and it's been a struggle. Purdue just can't score. It, it's as simple as that. Tucker on the attack. The skip into the corner, an open three for David and Christian David. McDermott was wide open on the cut, and Eric Hunter was guarding the ball, did a nice job of not allowing the inbounder to see it. But Tucker hits the three at the top of the key, and Jordan Tucker with six. Tucker with 20 points already in this second half after 26 in the first half as Eastern leaves that one well short to Baldwin. Ten to shoot. Baldwin, Smith's all alone. That was fantastic offense. Miss on the front end of a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Purdue. Take away, going the other way. Thompson to the rim, misses the layup, but the follow there. Today, other guys have really stepped up and made plays on this end. What a good tip out by Thompson and a finish to Sean McDermott. That was all Thompson on that possession. Checked out right now by Purdue's trainer, Chad Young. McDermott, nice bounce, Sinzi with the finish. Again, you get pressure, attack it to score. Give Purdue a different look, and I like it. Purdue's found a little bit of a rhythm. Now all of a sudden you're going to go zone, but you're allowing yourself to give up open looks from three. There's Hunter penetrating. Butler fans wanted to walk. Hunter feeds Williams on the baseline, and now everything's falling for Purdue. Thompson trying to turn the corner down seven. 15 to shoot. Here's Hunter to the rim. Baldwin with a rejection. Oh, they're going to count the bucket. Ten seconds to go. Williams three. Falls. Travion Williams with his first three of the year. The crossroads goes to Butler. They made their last 11 free throws to clinch the win tonight. 70-61 to 61 over the Boilermakers. You have to give them credit because it looked like it was all coming unraveled.